Hi everybody. Welcome back. It's Lisa at Letting My Heart Take the Lead. How are you guys doing this fine fall day? It was wonderful weather here today. It's a little cloudy. The sun's trying to peek in and out. Um, but the temperatures, oh, we just have those beautiful, beautiful fall temperatures. And it's just gorgeous out. So, I know it's been a little bit, um, but I have been working nonstop. As a lot of you guys know, I am a nurse, and right now, um, with everything going on, it is hectic. I've been working a lot. Um, the rest of the time, I've just been trying to take care of myself at any time that I feel uh, exhausted. <laughs> you know, getting, I know to the... I'm getting to that point where I'm just wore out. Um, I'm trying to take really good care of myself to keep to keep from contracting anything. And um, so, yeah, it's just been terribly busy. I've been having some back and shoulder issues. And I've spent a few days in the recliner uh, with a heating pad. Um, with those issues so it is getting a little bit better but um yeah i just haven't been able to um get on here and do as much with with my schedule and with my back so i apologize but i do have some really good things to show you and um if you are expecting something from me, um, please don't give up on me. It's gonna, um, I've got things, I sent out a bunch of stuff yesterday. And then um, I know one of my subscribers, Deb, she spoke for um, the adorable cake plate and cake cover with the wooden um, acorn on it. And Deb, I know I missed you on the 24th, and I apologize greatly, but um, I am going to be down in your area in a few days, so I am going to get a hold of you about meeting you, and we will get you that uh, cake pan and cake cover. I have not forgot about you at all. So, anyway... Um, yeah, like I said, it's just been kind of, you know, it's just been really weird and the last week, week and a half and just real busy and um, I've been trying to get stuff out of the garden with the change of the weather, you know, getting cooler. I know my days are running short and so I've been trying to get um, stuff out of there as much as what I possibly can with this darn shoulder and my back, but I've been working on stuff um out of there but I wanted to show you guys I have been dehydrating apple slices I was gifted a whole whole bunch of apples and I've made apple butter and I've made um, apple sauce and I've made spiced apples and I've canned plain apples um, but anyhow, I started dehydrating some of them. When my kids were little, when my son was little, Landon loved when I would dehydrate apple slices. And he would eat them as fast as I could get them dehydrated. And um, so anyhow, the other day I got to thinking, you know, I think I'm going to dehydrate some of these apple slices. I never tasted them. I just knew that he liked them. And that's how come I was dehydrating. But so I caught up a whole bunch, got my dehydrator out, cut up a whole bunch, spread them all out. And I thought, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on them um, and dehydrate them. That way, you know, we either snack on them, you know, just that way. Or, you know, later on, if I needed them for a pie or something like that, you know, they'd already have cinnamon and sugar on them, have a little bit of spices on them. I could just rehydrate some and, you know, I'd have them for pie. So I did it and they are amazing. 
why? Why did I not eat these sooner? <laughs> why did I not eat these with my son when he was little? They are awesome, awesome, awesome. So I, like I said, I've been dehydrating. I have about six jars of these already. And by the way, these are all old Nesca Nescafe um, instant coffee jars. I got them at the flea market. I got like a dozen of them. I was hoping that canning lids would fit on them and I could use them for canning. They won't. They're just a little bit bigger than a wide mouth lid. So, but anyhow, I thought I can put, you know, my dehydrated stuff in there. So, anyway, they're working excellent for my apples. And you may be able to hear the hum in the background. I got my de dehydrator going right now with some more. So, anyway, and I've got tomatoes in my sink that I'm going to be scalding and doing uh, those today and getting those out of the way. I don't have to work tonight. I don't have to be back until tomorrow night. So I'm trying to get all the stuff, as much stuff as what I possibly can accomplished today. And it just, you know, it's funny because yesterday I was like, I got off work yesterday morning and I come home and I did nap for about an hour, but then I started right in on some stuff in the kitchen. I'm making some pear butter and stuff like that. And, but then my shoulder and my back got to start bothering me. So I had to kind of quit for a little while. And then I had errands to run last night. But in the meantime, I was thinking about, I've got the whole day tomorrow. I've got all this stuff that, you know, that I can get accomplished. And I was making this big list of all this stuff I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to get the rest of the beans out of the garden so that you know, they can be drying and I can shell those and I'm going to pick the rest of the tomatoes and I'm going to get all those done. I'm going to get the rest of the apples done. Yeah. So I have, I've, oh gosh, I don't know how many apples I've peeled this morning already, but I have got a lot of those done and I have got my tomatoes washed and ready to scald and get those peeled um, and make a batch of chili sauce and I'll probably have enough from the garden that I can make some tomato juice too. So anyway, seven minutes in and I'm rambling and that's what I've done. But I wanted to show you some things that I have gotten from Tracy. She is helping an uh, elderly man um, sell some of his things that he had stored and left over from his um, mother that he had been saving. So I have got quite a bit of stuff from her. I'm going to show you a few things. Um, there, some of this, uh, a lot of this stuff I'll probably be keeping for my own use. I should be a walking diet Mountain Dew advertisement. You can't go wrong. So anyway, let's get started. I hope you guys have been doing well. I miss you guys. Okay. Um, as you guys all know, I use all kinds of tins all the time. I've said I use them for to store my garden seed. Um, I use them for buttons and sewing supplies and all kinds of things. So um, I used to be pretty picky on the tins that I picked up. I'll be honest with you. I, you know, it was the pretty ones and everything. But as I found how useful they are, and especially with garden seeds and my sewing supplies and everything, usually when I find a good tin that opens halfway easily, but it um, is snug, I grab it. And so anyhow, this is just a tin, a Danish excuse me, cookie tin that I've picked up and will be using, yeah, for myself. So I will be keeping that. Um, then I picked up a couple of um, just some placemats that I thought would look nice on the table for this fall. 
Um, I do have a bigger table, but there's only two of us at home right now that usually, you know, we're usually the only ones here for supper. Um, every now and then the kids will come over, but um, it's usually just Tim and I. So I picked up these really cute brown, they've got kind of this gold thread throughout them, placemats. There's just two of them, um, but I thought... You know, there's just two of us majority of the time. These will work. Um, and so I thought fall colors, they'll be nice to put on the table for fall. So got to get those washed up today. And then um, I just, he had some other vintage, you know, older like dish towels and stuff. You know, I don't know about you guys, but... Um, I have started buying a lot of vintage, the older, I love this one, this one's pretty for fall, it's be like a hand towel or a dish towel, I'll probably use it for a dish towel, um, the older dish towels, because anymore, it's like hard to find this terry cloth in a dish towel, you know, you can still find them. But it's a little bit harder. All of them are going to those microfiber towels. Now, there are certain things that I do like the microfiber for. But drying my dishes is not one of them. I do not like a microfiber dish towel. I hate them. I want my old terry cloth. Or cotton. My flower sack towels. So, anyway, there was a couple of these. And so I grabbed them um, and then there's a couple of these blue checked that I really like these are like flower sack material so um, I got those because as you know you guys go through dish towels like if you're like me anyway you go through dish towels right and left you can never have too many and then I got this it's like it's dirty, it needs washed, but it's cute. I'm going to use it as a flower sack towel. And it's got this these cute tulips on it and these little bees on it. But I'm going to wash that up. I'm going to use that as a flower sack towel. And then there was this one. It's stained up a little. It's stained up quite a bit, but... It's flower sack, but look, it's got a little horse embroidered on it. So I thought that was cute. So I'm going to get those washed up to use. Um, and then I got a couple of pot holders. Pot holders are the same way. Guys, this is a this is one of those pot holders, you know, that is like double layered, like you can grab with. Um, but pot holders are the same way. You can never have too many. I use my pot holders all the time. Um, this, this is pears. I thought that was cute. Um, there's some older ones. And then this has just made, been made out of like dish towels. But... Or dish claws. But um, with as much cooking and canning and everything that I do, um, yeah, I need all the help I can get. And then I picked up this old Tupperware set of measuring spoons. That's yellow. I look at that the same way. You can never have too many measuring spoons or too many measuring cups. So I got those. And then I just thought this was cute. I probably, I don't know whether I'll ever, I may, because I use my cast iron skillets a lot and the handles do get really hot. But it's just, a, it's a little western theme. It's very dirty, it needs washed. But look, it's got, it looks like bandana material. It's got a little wagon and guitar. No guitar. But 
you, you know, you just slip your handle in there where you can hold on to it. So yeah, I got that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, oh, and here's some more pot holders I stuck in a Tupperware container. <laughs> this one's kind of little. I don't know about it, but and then this looks like it came straight from the 80s. And then I got that one. But I don't care what they look like. As long as they operate and work, that's what I care about. And then I was lucky enough that I scored some Tupperware. Now, I've not cleaned this up yet, not washed it and sanitized it, but um, I'm going to be doing that, too, is after I get my tomatoes done. I got this large square Tupperware. Look how deep it is. Look how big it is. Yeah, I thought that was great. I'm gonna sneeze. Hey, shoot! Hey, shoot! Real life here, guys. Hey, shoot! No, oh, real life. And then I got this one. It just kind of looks like a. It's long, deep, like a bread container or something and then I got a little square sandwich and then this one here so I got me some Tupperware you know not a uh, I think Tupperware is just good to store stuff in it too you know um, and then I picked up a couple things just to have on hand for the grandkids when they're their Christmas coloring book. And you know me, I love to color. And I love my crayons. I've got a crayon fetish. I love my crayons. So I may be coloring in that book. Who knows? And then I got this Christmas um, songs, this book keep it for my grandkids and it's got the little push buttons that you push it's got all the different songs and then they can push the button up that correlates with the page they're on and it plays the songs so I got that for them and then uh, you guys have probably heard me talk about my granddaughter Dallas and she watches all my videos. So, hi, Dallas. I love you. Grandma misses you very much. But she loves baby dolls. And she is such a good mommy to her baby dolls. But anyhow, I found these little outfits. They fit a little baby doll. So, Dallas, if you have any little baby dolls that these, it says six, fits six inch to seven inch dolls. So if you have any little baby dolls that these clothes would fit, leave grandma a comment and I'll let and I'll send them to you for your babies. I was thinking about you. Um, and then a lot of people hate these things. I love these things. I will admit they are a mess, but you know, we're coming up on the we're in fall. We're coming up on the holiday season very, very fast. And, you know, you're thinking about decorating everything like this. I love icicles on my tree, people. I love them. A lot of people absolutely hate them because of the mess they make. I think they look so pretty. Now, I don't put them on thick. And I don't put them on, like, one strand here and one strand here. I mean, I fluff them around but I love them I love them so I found these yeah and then I found some paper doilies I will keep those because I just think that every now and then and I found white ones um, several white ones there's a couple that need to be thrown away but here's a big package it's got a lot of white and then it's got a lot of like heart-shaped ones over here. Um, 
It's got, I don't know whether you can see them, but little silver round ones back in here. So yeah, I, I love to decorate my like cookie platters and appetizer trays. If we're having, um, you know, when we had family game night and everything like that, I, I love to put stuff like that on there to kind of decorate the trays up. So then a couple of things um, that I got, I found this little goose. How cute is this guy? Or, yeah, guy. Look, he's got his little red hat on, his little red bow tie. He's got gold feet. He's not marked on the bottom. But he is absolutely adorable. I will, I'm going to be putting him on eBay. I just... Uh, he's so classily dressed. I just love him. And then... Um, Oh, that's weird. Sorry, guys. I mean, was getting a phone call from Brownsville, Texas, and I'm like, who do I? I don't know anybody in Brownsville, Texas. I'm sure it's something about the election that I don't want to hear about. Some kind of political phone call that I'm not. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, but my, I was just talking about Brownsville, Texas, to my daughter yesterday because um, I was telling her that's where my grandma and grandpa, my grandma is who she's named after and um they went to brownsville texas every winter and wintered there you know in their in their campers so i was just talking about that that's weird and then i got these three little guys i thought maybe they were hispanic but some lady at the flea market said no there's some kind of a, like an mountain people so if you guys know they're not Eskimo she she did tell me they were not Eskimo there's some kind of a, 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 a mountain person so they're like made like little roly pulleys they're flat on the bottom where they and they're red wear but they are so cute but if any of you guys know leave me a comment down below and let me know what culture these are. They're so cute and I probably will be putting them up on eBay when I find out what they are. And then I just found an, a handful of clothespins in the bottom of a box. I can always use clothespins. Then got this tin. Isn't it cute? This is made in the USA. Memphis, Tennessee. Looks like Wangs. Wangs International. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. But I thought it would be cute for Christmas. I probably won't put anything in it because I can't get the lid off. <clears throat> yeah. But it will be cute for decoration. And then I got a crock bowl, a brown crock bowl. It's in really good condition. It does have a chip along here. But I don't care. I use these things. It's a nine inch. It says USA nine inch on the bottom. Um, I use my pottery bowls like this for everything. And so did my grandma. And that's the reason why I use them for everything is because it brings back so many memories. But I use them for mixing bowls. I use them to mix up like uh, dinner rolls and bread um, and I put them in there and throw a flour sack towel over it for my for it to rise. Um, just, yeah, I have been known to make pickles in them. I cut up my cucumbers and I pour my brine over it and then I just let them set. I use a plate and weight it down and let it set in the brine and make pickles. Yeah, so I've been, I, yeah. And then look at this, guys. This is old. I don't know how old. There's no marking on the bottom. Look at this turkey. We're coming up on turkey time. It's a planner. 
But look at him. Isn't he adorable? I love him. And I haven't decided yet whether I'm keeping or selling. So if any of you guys are interested in that, let me know. That'll influence me. Okay, then I went to, that was stuff from the flea market. Then I went to this, you guys have heard me. Oh, look at this, it's a tin, it's an apple. Now, I had the lid off of this at one time, but I'm not going to fight it right now. Isn't that cute? I almost forgot to show you. I got that to the market too. Um, I went to, you've heard me talk about it before, Hope Thrift Center in Springfield. Um, and looked around. I got me some pumpkins for decorating. The little ones. There's like four of those, and then I got me this. It's missing the handle, but I don't care. I just thought he was adorable. I think I give 50, I give 50 cents for all of them together, for the four little ones and the big one. And then I got me these cookie cutters. There's a ghost, a black cat, and another black cat. I got those for 10 cents a piece, so I give 30 cents for those. And then I got me another couple of towels. These are just Halloween. This one says, eat, drink, and be scary. Um, I think I give like 25 cents a piece for those. And then, I have been looking for one of these for so long. Actually, I am looking for... A real mannequin head like they use in um, cosmetology school that's what I'm looking for because I want a garden woman I've got everything for her except I could never find a head the a head that and I wanted to use one of those mannequin heads from cosmetology school so if any of you guys know where I can find one of those or have one that they'd be willing to get rid of Please let me know. Please, please, please. But for right now, it's my friend. I got a phone one. Now, I don't know whether the birds will pick this apart. I don't know. But I've got a wig for her. I've got a big floppy hat for her. I've got a 60s dress that is flower power. She's going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous, I'm telling you, gorgeous. I just can't wait. I probably won't put her up until spring. And then the last two things that I got, you know, me and my puzzles in wintertime. I love them. I love them. I love them. So I found two. Now, these were a little tricky. How did I open these? I can't remember. Anyway, I can't. But this one's got like a garden scene, garden gate, chair, if you can see it. And then this one, these are brand new. They've, no, they've, and then this one is a covered bridge. Cute. And I think there's a horse and buggy on there. Coming out. Ah! So, anyway, I'm going to put those up in my game and puzzle closet for this winter. I'll tell you guys, I'm dreading this winter. I dread the cold and everything. This is my favorite time of year. Even though I'm so busy with everything out of the garden, this is my favorite time of year for the weather. I absolutely Love it. Love it. Love it. But um, this winter, I've got me some puzzles. I've got me some books. So I'm really looking forward to some downtime if I can have some downtime from work this winter because I just think after the year that we've had, you know, I just feel like this winter could be a good 
season of rest for all of us and just, you know, recovery. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we're in 30 minutes. I'm going to catch you guys off, but thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. If you're one of the regulars, guys, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys next time. Always in a world that we can be anything. Please be kind, be safe, and be awesome. Love you guys. Bye.